Hello, I'm Guy Goldsmith. I am the Parks Director for the City of North Liberty. And I am here today with Mark Vitosh with the Iowa Department of Natural Resource Forestry Department. And we are in a three day long tree inventory of all of our city right of way trees. And I'm gonna let Mark do a little talking on uh, what's all, all involved with the uh, tree inventory. A tree inventory can be a variety of things, but basically what we're doing in most communities, we're looking at trees that are in the public right of way. And that may be usually between the street and the sidewalk in most communities. In some, in some communities there may not be a sidewalk, but there still is a public right of way. So any tree in that public right of way. And then we're also working in some cases if we have time, we're trying to go through the park systems, which would be public trees too, to try to inventory those trees. And what we're really doing in most cases, we're actually going to individual trees. And in this case, we have a GPS unit um, that we actually go to that tree. We determine the species of that tree, the size, and usually the size, we're looking at the diameter. We have a range from zero to three, all the way up to greater than 42 inches in diameter. Then we look at the condition of that tree. What is the trunk health, the wood health, we also look at the crown, are the leaves healthy? And the other thing we do in these community inventories, we actually uh, ask the question, does that tree need any pruning? Does it need to be lifted? Um, does it have any hazard branches that maybe need to be removed? So we collect all that data for each individual tree and then we can actually come back to the community and say that you have 20% ash trees or actually what I think we're gonna find in North Liberty so far between the street and sidewalk, we're in the older neighborhoods right now, we're finding a lot of maple. We'll probably tell them that maybe they have 30 to 40% maple or maybe even more than that. But it lets the community understand kind of what their tree resource is. The other thing in this older section of town that we're in right now, there's a lot of what I would call mature or older trees. So we'll be able to basically compare that to the parks where they've planted a lot of new trees in the last five to 10 years versus some of these older neighborhoods will give them a good feel of what their age distribution of the trees are in their neighborhoods too. This yellow thing I'm holding is actually called a Trimble unit and it, it, it's a GPS unit, global positioning unit. So when I go to that tree, I actually get a fixed plot where that tree is and we can take all that data that I talked about earlier, the species, the condition, the size of those trees, and that goes to a data point and we can actually give the city a map that shows where all, the, all their trees are in the parks, along the streets. And then with their um, GPS people uh, on city staff, they can actually update that data and they're actually considering buying a similar unit whereas when they go into the parks and they start replanting trees or planting new ones, they can record those, or if they come into the streets and they start removing some of these trees that maybe are hazardous or have problems, they can actually take that off their data, and, or they come in and prune, they can actually update this information, but it's all tied to the global positioning. We actually have a dot on the map that shows us where that tree is and what tree it is. On a, on a good day, we can do 60 to 100 trees. Um, It'll probably take us two to three days to do all the street trees in town. Uh, previously, I did another town, Lisbon. They had 800 trees. It took me five days to do those 800 trees. The reason we're doing it in this case, uh, I actually work for the Department of Natural Resources, Iowa Department of Natural Resources Forestry Bureau, and we're actually getting funding from the U.S. Forest Service. And, and they're concerned with a lot of communities we have a lot of tree pests coming. For example, in Iowa, we have an insect called the emerald ash borer that attacks basically all ash. Well, a lot of communities really don't know how many ash trees they have. So if that pest comes, it actually has a potential to kill all ash trees. So communities have to be prepared if they have 10% or 15% ash, they need to know that they may be removing 100 ash trees in the next five years or the next 10 years. So it gives those communities an idea of what they have. The other thing is if the community is interested in their tree resource, which North Liberty is, North Liberty is actually a Tree City USA uh, through the Arbor Day Foundation out of Nebraska City, Nebraska. It's a national organization and it shows the community is doing a number of activities to actually promote community forestry. 
So the inventory actually helps them as far as keeping that designation um, and actually helps them with a program called the Growth Award. It can improve that way. But for them to manage their resource, they need to know what it is and, and what's there. What, what are the average sizes? What are the species? So they can prepare to manage that. The other thing is if they look at that, they're continuing to plant their parks. If we do an inventory of the parks, we know what the species makeup is. Then they can look at that and say, well, we need to mo plant more oak or we need to more plant more of this. Or they might even put a moratorium on planting maple. And, and look at other species to try to diversify. Because the big thing we have in these communities is back in the 60s and 70s, a lot of communities planted elm or had a lot of elm that were lost to Dutch elm disease. Well, when those were replaced, they replaced them with ash and maple in a lot of communities. So a lot of our communities probably have 50 to 60% mixed ash and maple. We have some potential problems with those. If those get wiped out, then we're kind of in a hard place. So if we can give them the information to manage for the future, that's really what the inventory does. It tells them what they have, uh, what their conditions are, what their sizes are, species, so they can make those decisions for the future.